Everybody, welcome back. It's Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com showing you some new features in Google Docs. You can actually create checklists in Google Docs now right here. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, so let's walk through step by step on how to create checklists in Google Docs. The first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to open up um, a new Google Doc. So you can just do that by clicking docs.new. Um, obviously, you'll want to give this a name here. And then there's a couple different ways that you can actually do this checklist. You can actually write them in manually. You can copy and paste. You can put it in different forms. You can put it in days of the week, different things like that. So I've already got this page set up over here. So I'm just going to jump right here and show you. So when you add a new checklist, you'll come up to your toolbar right here. You'll see this little two checks right here. I'll zoom in on this in the video, or you can hit the command shift plus nine option. So once you create a checklist there, you can just put in your items here. Once you hit enter, it'll automatically put in a new item, or you can come to the end of the list and you can copy and paste from another list that you have set up someplace else. Once you've finished with that item, you'll see when you check it off the checklist, it actually puts a uh, line out or breakthrough. The other way that you can actually do this is you could set up a table and add a different calendar checklist. So the way that you do this is just set up a table. You can put insert here, table, five by two or five by five or whatever. And then you would just put your days of the week here. Once you get into an individual box, you can add items there. The other option that you have is you, if you're working on a project management or something with students is what I'm thinking, is you can actually assign different tasks to different students. Again, the way that you would do this is you hit the at symbol, hit the person's name, and you get out items down here. So if you have a class project that you wanted to assign different things to different students, or it's the same project, but you've divided up into groups as students, or the students into groups, you can actually create this and just share this with all of the students. That way, um, obviously, if you wanted to delete any items off the list, you would just come back to the item and you can delete that, or you can highlight different items there. And that's how you create checklists in Google Docs. Again, if you're here, it's most likely because you work in education. I love you, I appreciate you, and I am glad that you are here.